Vivian. I found it. The book you lost. You... You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these... executors. And I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie... That lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse. But a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather closer perspective than I had intended. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, Belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you, as I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. <laughs>